back to a new video. My name is Pilot Luke, and today I will be showing you guys how to upload your picture on Jet Photos. So, as you might know, we have already done a video on how to edit for Jet Photos, and many of you guys have actually asked me um, how to upload the actual picture itself onto Jet Photos um, do a, and do a specific video on it because you've been having a lot of trouble with the uh, website, and I'm going to be showing you guys. Um, my way of uploading to Jet Photos. Before uploading a picture, um, you must know that Jet Photos is a pretty stingy and very complicated website. So you might be um, in the wait. You might be waiting for your picture to be viewed for about twelve days. Uh, and you know, the Jet Photos is renowned to be a very stingy website. So you might wait twelve days for nothing if your picture isn't chosen. So that's why you need to really pick the best pictures you've got. And you sh you must make it you know right the first time, otherwise you'll be waiting what two weeks, a little bit less than two weeks to uh to see a rejection. Um, so before uploading a picture, make sure you read this um s submission guidelines. Um, now the part that's going to be interesting us today is the second uh, point over here. Uh, where it indicates that the long edge of a photo must be at least 1024 pixels and the short edge must be 576. Now, you know, most times you're going to be watching this um, reason up here. And, you know, I've, I've done this mistake as well. Many people have done this mistake. It will indicate that your picture needs to be 1920 times 1280 pixels. Um, but you'll realize quite quickly that when you do that, it doesn't work for some reason. And actually, um, Jeff Ferro's actually prioritized the photographers that have uploaded the most and that have the most experience with the website to upload better pictures uh, with a better resolution. So the smaller you are, the newer you are to the website and the least, well, the, the less quality you will have on your pictures for the website. That's why you're probably receiving that information and I am, well, I was as well. And um, so we'll get right into it. Um, <clears throat> um, it actually also indicates here cur what current uh, maximum size you are allowed to have. And it actually indicates 1280 for me, but um, I have actually noticed that 1280 doesn't even work for me. So I'll show you guys what my solution is um, and it actually works for me. So we'll hop straight into Photoshop and I'll show you all of this. Okay, so our first picture here is this United 787. If you've already checked out my Jet Photos page or Flight Radar, you might have seen my picture on there. Um, this is a Dreamliner taking off from Charles de Gaulle. With a nice winter light. Anyway, it wasn't very. I didn't edit it that much. It was really contrasty uh, as a start, so I didn't do much editing on top. But the solution, the thing I did was I uploaded my first picture way back in what 2019, 2020, something like that, or 2021. I can't really remember. And um, I actually took that picture that I had originally and. You know, placing in Photoshop and then placed this United picture on top, so I I get you know so I got the dim the dimensions that Jeff Photos required. So the actual dimensions you're going to need to use are one thousand and eight pixels times eight hundred and forty three. So that's one two oh eight times eight four three. Now now I'm going to show you guys why it doesn't work um, with the one two eight zeros. So let's see, because we, we can crop this back in the size that Jet Photos show me. But you'll see, this is the size that Jet Photos require. They want this size, this size. So as you can see it's more of a sort of rectangular shape. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it doesn't look really uh, aesthetically pleasing. You, you really prefer 16 2.9 ratios, but this one isn't. Um, so let, let me show you. Let's go in with the crop tool and show you what they actually... So this is a resolution you actually require. See, 1208 times 843 pixels. Um, 
However, if you go into the size that they were, that, that they suggest or they want is one two one nine two zero times one two eight zero. Now you'll see that there is an equal um, amount of borders remaining on the side, and that's actually why it doesn't work. Because look, this is the size that Jet Photos wants. Really, it that's the one that that's the size that they approved with my picture uh, is with those borders in, but. The size that they actually uh, indicate is below what they need. So, actually, at the start, for starters, they actually indicate a wrong size. So, that's why, you know, if you have a picture that is in this resolution, so it's, it is, let's suppose your picture is 16.2.9, it has a ratio of 16.2.9, then you'll have to do this, like, literally, really simple thing which is just crop it down to the size that I just indicated and it will work. So let's, let me just do a quick example of a picture and I'll show you guys um, how it works. Right, so we're back in Photoshop here with this picture of an 8350R France face to face. Um, one of my, one of my best pictures, well, not best pictures, but you know, one of my favorites. Um, I always like face to faces, and this one I just really liked. Um, but I suppose this let let's say this picture you wanted to upload. I'm not saying that it would be accepted. I'm not saying that it will because it really is overexposed and it's got plenty of problems, defects to it, which would require me to you know nose dive into it and do a lot of editing, uh, just as I've done in the vid in the previous video on Jet Photos. But as you can see, you can see the size down here. Um, of the actual picture, that's 4K picture. It's taken with the uh, with a DSLR, uh, Nikon DSLR, um, <clears throat> and it's actually about you know 4,000 times 3,000, which is actually 4K, and you would never get accepted with that uh, as a starter. It would not go through. Even it's a it's a raw file. You know they don't accept raw files. They accept JPEG. Um, so let's let's just put this down and. Um, We'll see how it works. So now what we're going to do is just get to the crop tool. Um, if you want, you can actually go ahead and do your little edit. So I'll show you real quick. You could just go in camera raw filter. I'm just going to hit auto. I'm not going to go really far into this edit. See, it's, it recommends just leaving it like that. So you'd need to turn down the the exposure and everything to, you, you know, turn down that overexposure. But just for the sake of the video, let's do this. Um, so we we'll just turn, turn, uh, put the file down to one two zero eight times uh, eight four three, and there you go. This is the size that they require, literally. Um, so of course, make sure that your plane is nice and centered in, um, just like this. About it's like about center. I'm not going to really go really in details um as you yeah of course it is going to turn the resolution down as well because that is a very small uh file compared to what it was before you know it was a 4k and we're turning it down to a, you know it was 4000 times 3000 we're turning it down to 1000 times about 1000 as well which is very small and that actually reduces your overall quality but let's just for the sake of the video save this as um, we'll save it as you know Air France A three hundred and fifty. Let's just give it that, that name. Now, as well as the resolution doesn't really matter, so you can leave it maximum. Uh, try to keep the most quality out of it, and let's try it out now. Let's see, upload photo and Air France A three hundred and fifty, and there you go. It actually works. Now, don't don't be scared uh, if the website shows it like that. I actually is uh perfect um now just real quick uh this for example i can't remember the the registration but if, if for example it was the fht greg a um sorry and it was a charles de gaulle so that's the icao you can check the icao of your airport or of the airport you took the picture of on the internet if you don't know it or on a flight radar it equals it works on both, so then you could just hit autofill, and um, yeah, that's how you would upload the picture. Um, 
if for example you had a picture which is taken at night or a cockpit picture for example then you would have to go down into categories right here so there's photo specific and there's aircraft specific so make sure you distinguish the two photo specific is what happens in the inside the picture basically so is the is the picture just an overall accident is an airport overview so for example if you took a picture of dallas airport from you know up in the sky you would just hit airport overview and if it's a cockpit picture just go to cockpit picture click it and if it's a night shot air to air uh, if, for example, it's very rare, but if you want, you don't want that picture to be included into flight radar, then just hit ex exclude from flight radar. And aircraft specific, basically, you know, is the aircraft a business jet? So if, for example, he had a, you had a net jet uh, plane, I'm not really sure if it's called, considered business jet. But, for example, if you had those little planes going into a very, you know, a very businessy airport, um, you would just hit business jet, and if it's an it's a helicopter, you know it's self explanatory. Uh, if it's a cargo jet, if it's uh, you know lighter than air, or if it's a special scheme, that special scheme that would be a special livery basically. Is it um, a Sky Team livery? Is it, for example, I don't know the R two D two livery from ANA? You would just hit special scheme, and if it is a small prop or a Warbird vintage. You would go with well, for example, if it's a if it's a, a supermarine Spitfire, you would go here and click that. Uh, your camera, basically, you know, whatever camera you use. I've got two cameras, so it doesn't really matter in the end. It just appears, but you don't really care about that. Uh, if it's a hot photo, so hot photos basically are viewed, you know, in priority. Why do you want this picture? Why does this picture um, need? the biggest attention from the screen and why does it need to be viewed before you know all the other pictures so an example of a hot photo would be a first registration so to see if it's the first registration just type the registration of the aircraft up here and if it doesn't if it doesn't appear for example um, if you take an Air France 8050 picture from Toulouse so that's where the aircraft has been produced uh, or its final assembly was made and let's suppose that you've just got the first picture of it and you want to upload it then you would go ahead and go in here and tape and type in first registration and your picture would be viewed as a priority and either accepted or denied um, just according to the picture itself however just make sure that it is a hot photo reason so for example really special events first registrations because most of the time, if you just want to enter hot photo because, you know, you want your picture to be viewed before, you'll put an uh, unvalid hot photo reason or something. And comments on the screen is basically, what would you like them to know? Um, is there anything you you would uh, you would like them to be aware of before them screen, screening the picture? Any uh, defects uh, due to that or something like that? Uh, remarks up here just the comments under the picture so if you for example this one just you could go with a with a um, I don't know face to face with an Air France 850 you know something like that the photo date well that's definitely not 2009 uh, the EXIF data that's up to you if you want the, the data to be shown um, that's up to you basically if you want the exposure and everything to be shown really it's really up to you and really this all of this you don't need to be done if it's all a field but for example if you had a picture with an aircraft that has never be, been seen on flight radar now not it's not very common but it's not rare either you would uh, first of all place hot photo because that's the first registration and you would actually fill all this in so for example let's say this actually this aircraft let's say uh, something uh, that's not true. This aircraft, for example, the FHTYA, uh, uh, has never been seen before. It's the first registration, and not even jet photos know about it. So I would type in France, uh, Charles de Gaulle, so that's for the airport. And then you would lo actually look onto internet. You type the registration, and you would check all these details. So it's it will be self-explanatory when you uh, actually check on internet and you see all this. It's pretty simple. 
the airline, yeah, France, the registration, the serial number can be found on the internet. Uh, the photo day, well, that's up to you. And 941, that's actually the company or the aircraft type. Uh, so that's the A350-900, so it's 900. And 41 is usually the company's code behind it. <clears throat> and, yep, yeah, that's about it. So when you when you have done that, you would just hit upload photo. I'm not going to do it because uh, uh, it's, not, it's not ready to be uploaded. And then you would be on to the watermark section so you just place a watermark wherever you want on the picture and you can also change the opacity and then you're in for about two weeks of you know of waiting and after that you'll receive a reply hopefully you'll be positive